All the devotees, so not down, some principles of devotion. That soul is soul is eternal servant of Krishna, part and parcel of supreme personality of God, it is Krishna. Always. By constitutional form. Form. Has a beautiful say. And serving in Golok Vrindavan, I couldn't and everywhere. But some souls owe oh, those who are here in birth and death. Also, some improved in devotion. Oh, there are so many kinds. So, all these are, by constitution, they are. Eternal servant, shape, qualities, sweetness, the relation with Krishna, or are transcendental there, but in latent position. They have never served Krishna, never, but in their constitution, like a seed, seed never grown into tree. But she has the potency to make a tree, fruits, everything there. So in constitution, in latent form, everything is there. Like a seed when it will be given in earth and waterized, sprouts will come, leaves will come, gradually it will develop and fruits may come. And after so many branches here, then so many leaves and flowers, and after that fruit, and after some time it will dry. And very sweet fragrance and very sweet rush will come. Juice will come. So everything in seed. So our constitutional position is that we are eternal servant of Krishna, but we have never served in Golo Vindava. We have not come from Golo Vindava. We have come from a marginal line that is called Tatastha Shakti. He never served, but by coming from the light of Kranabdishai, when he, he comes, or oh, there he receives or intelligence to see here and there. Before that he was like nothing was there. But when he came and touched by Nar Karnabdasai Vishnu, that he can see here and he can see there. Until now she was wholly covered. But now some same thing like life came, but not for animated. And that is why he goes towards Vaikuntha or he comes to this world. And if he has a oh, very bona fide uh, association of high class person, then oh, his some uh, sprouts comes some branches comes, leaves comes, then it may be flowers will come, and at last fruit will come. What are flowers? A sprout is like Shraddha. What Shraddha? I may die. Anyone cut in me so many pieces? But I cannot chant, chant uh, I cannot give up, chanting. give up chanting. Oh, I must chant. What problems coming? They should come. 
but I will follow line of bhakti. I will not give up. I have no test even, but by mind I have determined fully that I will chant, remember and attend high class of association. If my father, my Gurudev or anyone warning that you should not go, even I will give up them all. And I will go to high class of association that is going on. And I will develop my Krishna consciousness. Any power, any guru, anyone cannot disturb me. If Gurudev disturbing, like Sukracharya and Bali, Bali Maharaj, Bali Maharaj, mm-hmm. give up that guru. Father, mother, father, Pralat Maharaj, mother, Bharat Maharaj, wives, uh, husbands, gopis. Brother, Bharat Maharaj also. So, we should be very definite, strong in this way. Any rock, any sea, anyone cannot check. Oh, this is Shraddha. If this Shraddha is there, this is called transcendental Shraddha. To serve the tendency to desire to serve Krishna, this is Shraddha. So, we see in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Cheto Darapana Marjana, Bhau Mahatavat Nindirubhata, Shreya Kairava Chandrika Vitaranam, Vidya Vadujivanam, Anandam Bodhi Vardhanam Pratipadam, Purunamta Shvadhanam, Sarvatma Shnapanam, Param Vijayate. Who remembers this shlok? Who? Who? Oh, tell me. Oh, keep up your hand. Those who remember this shloka fully, they should. Those who have no remember, but they have read this Shastra full. How many? Though they have not read and not... Remember. Eh? Remember. But who have heard the name of Sikh Shastra? You know, that who told to whom? Who has, who has done this Sikh Shastra? Prabhu. And where, who, who were relishing this? Raramananda, with Mahaprabhu. And Hearing this, Mahaprabhu oh, used to become oh, senseless. So many high classes of... Eh? High class of Sudipta, Pradipta, all used to be seen in his body. So, this eight limbs, uh, seven limbs of uh, the fruit of this slok has been told, the name, glorifying name. We are chanting, remembering, but still so many devotees have so much lust, so much desiring to sense gratification. They want so much wealth. Why? They are chanting, hearing also, going in association. But why these things? Sun is rising, but darkness is there. What is the meaning? Eh? Oh, he is blind. Understand? Sun is there of very glittering, shining, but oh, so much darkness. What it means? 
that is blind, totally blind. He has never seen sun. But he is in sun. But fortunately, unfortunately, he is blind. So he is not seen. So anyone chanting, remember him. How light and darkness be in one place? Never. It means that something is wrong. So, in Chaitanya Charitamrita has been told, Cheto Darpana Marjanam. The mirror of heart becomes clear. <coughs> what it means? The mirror is well and good working, but we see and no shadow, nothing. Why? No reflection. Yeah. Why no reflection? Dirt. Dirt. What is that darkness? Anathas. So many anathas. Ignorance, anatta, aparad, offenses. So there is some. But chanting and chanting, cheto marjanam bhavati. Cheto darpan marjanam means, oh, our mirror of heart of becomes so clear that in that we can see our face. If mirror is not clear, we cannot see. But we can see who am I. How I am serving Krishna. And also we can see in that mirror, oh Krishna also. Everything we can see in mirror. But now we are thought. Oh, there is some process. What that process? Brahma, thought, how a soul can be again uh, clear and how he can be happy forever. So he saw in his trance three times and he determined only by the service of Krishna, anyone can be happy. We cannot happy by girlfriend and boyfriend, by wealth, by so much knowledge, by all the things in this world, never and never and never, only by the service of Krishna, we can be happy forever. But it is not so easy. Krishna is transcendental and we are drink, sinking in ignorance. ignorance. In this worldly desires and so many things. Ata Krishna Madhi, na bhavit grajyamindriya, shivan mukho hi jivadav, shayam eva. When we will have a very strong will, that I must serve Krishna. See? Then you will offer yourself like Sharanagati and all things. <coughs> and you will pray for this. This, then Krishna mercy can come. But in what process? He is telling. When Chitta Darpan Malvi, clear. Oh, first you will have to be associated. To be associated, you should associate. Pray for high class of associates. And then knowing that without the help of Guru, bona fide Guru, oh, we cannot go further and each what one hair, we cannot do. So, we will have to decide that who is bona fide guru. Then we will ask our Saman Guru. Saman Guru means 
mercifully give any relation, diksha. Diksha means tibyam gyanam tadyad, kuryata mahapasasa. Two things. Dibyam gyanam dadyati. What meaning? The spiritual master, he imparts divya gyan, transcendental knowledge, unto the heart of the disciple. What is that tra transcendental knowledge, Prabhu? You? What is that transcendental knowledge? What is that? Sambandha gyan. What is Sambandha gyan? I am eternal servant of Krishna. Not only this is okay, but something more. But what is my uh, constitutional form? What tendency, what mood is there that by that I can serve him? Among five, uh, this earth is one of them must be. So Guru will inspire him, inspire him that you are of one of these things and you have eternal this relation to Krishna and he will give Gopi Janavallavaya and all months. He will tell who is the deity of all months from a dead deity. And what relation is there? And we will offer ourselves fully, prapatti, saranagati, and then atmanivedan, some difference. Atmanivedan fully, and then with this sambandha gyan, and give up all the sha. Uh, Pop. All pop, sins, ignorance, anats, unwanted desire. unwanted desire. And then he will chant Hare Krishna, Hare, Hare Krishna, 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 Krishna Hare, 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 Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Rama Thinking Hare, that Hare. this name is non difference from Krishna. Very powerful. Having so much strong faith like Haridas Thakur even bitten in 20 markets and he never like Prahlad Maharaj poison was given he was given in fire he was thrown in sea from mountains of oh, poison was given serpents were elephants and serpents but he never so in this way surrendering to Krishna and to Gurudev and being in association of high class person, hearing past times of Krishna. If he is chanting, then first it must be Cheto Marjana, otherwise not. That is why our Cheto Darpan Marjanam is not going, going on. That is the thing. No high class of association, very weak. We cannot give up the uh, attachment of wealth, reputation, power, and other things. Even anat we cannot give up. If a wealthy man comes and a devotee man comes, then we honor wealthy person. No importance of any devotees. If any disciple is giving or so much money, then we or Gurudev honors, and he, oh, you are my dearest wife. <laughs> and by doing so, oh, at once you will go to Golok. No stoppage. <laughs> I am giving you passport and visa of Golok Vrindavan. <laughs> <laughs> but all bluffing. Oh, Gurudev never tells like. So you should try to come in proper Process. These are process. I told it very clearly. I think all have uh, understand. 
Or who has not understand? Who has raised your hand? Who has not? <laughs> oh. <laughs> understand, but no realization. Huh? Okay? No realization. When you will follow this, oh, certainly this will come. A guru or pure devotee wants to give this relation and he wants to burn all your ignorance, sense gratifications and unearthed. Guru never takes it. He takes but at once by his influence, power, everything is burnt. Someone tells that, oh, Guru, they takes our all ignorance and sins, offenses, and he tests, releases it. Oh, this is wrong thing. Very wrong thing. Don't believe in this. By their glance, by their remembering of devotee, Jesam Sansmaranat, Unsa Sabda, Tesham Kim Punar Darshanam Pad Sauchanadi. Oh, which you will remember. Nanta Baba, Yasodamaya, Sidam, Sugar. Gopis, or oh, even Hanuman, even Prahlad, Ramanuj, Madhva, and all others, or sin will go away at once. It will be burned forever. And if we are hearing Katha from them, our heart must be changed. Certainly it will be changed. Even there are so many karmis, kyanis, yogis, in the council of Parikshit Maharaj, when he was hearing Harikatha from Sukhdev Goswami, they heard for seven days, and after seven days, no karmi there, no yogi there. All became what? All pure devotee. So I want, expect something from you. I have come from so far away. Mm-hmm. Only to beg this, only to give this. And I want that you should be like the persons, Jukarmi, Yogi, Gyani, to give up all these things and to follow my instructions. Not my instruction, it is the instruction of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, his Guru Dev, Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati, Rup Goswami Mahaprabhu. Even Brahma. So you must follow and try to hear all these things in this process. And very quickly all attachments should go away. Not a single attachment. Whether he is Grihastatya. You know what Maharaj was? Family man. Pandvas were well also. Gopis were also family men. But how, what kind of family men they were? Huh? If his wife was very favorable to Krishna and serving, then husband used to love his wife. They used to do to pranam all the gopis. They used to do pranam and decorate their wives for Krishna. So a grihast like this, like Pandavas, a grihast. His lust and everything, ignorance, everything will go away. Whatever with they do, they do for Guru Kauranga, not for them. Very soon you should be ready. You may be in grihast. You should be there, no harm. But whatever you do, do for Krishna. If husband is favorable for Krishna, oh, he is husband, okay. And not then, oh, at once repent. So everything should depend on the relation of Krishna. Gaur Praman. Now class will be what? I'm still not 
quite clear. Earlier in the class, you said that when the jiva is coming from the rays of Mahavishnu, at one point he sees Maya, he sees. Why he could not see saw, uh, saw before? He was not at that time related to the flames of Karnabdishai. Now he has something like a sprout is coming one by the glance of and now he is somewhat have some wish now. At before no wish. But now he has desire. Yes. He makes a choice in that position. Yes. No no. He will see how I will be happy. And if he saw glance in my eye, oh, then he will see, oh, I will be happy by all these things. And he will, attraction of Maya. And when he will first clown see there. So it depends on what he sees first. Yes. And that is why Karnabdi Shai is not guilty that he took him to this world and to that world. So it's like flipping a coin. Yes. First you should see like that, understand. But after will you know the exact... <laughs> so, I, so I wasn't really a bad person. Huh? I didn't really make the bad choice. It just, yes. whatever I saw, then I thought, oh, this is very nice. Yes, sure. that is right. That is why it has been told, say bhuli, Krishna bhuli, say you, anadi. Anadi means? Now, Karnadi Sahib has given a very good jewel. jewel. Independence. Independence. And if you are misused, misuse, I am seeing here, then you must be it. And you will have to. Otherwise, you will go there. What? For the principle of eternity. Because if it happened once, it's not eternal. It happened once. The God is in his history. What? I could not understand. He says that eternally means there is no beginning, no end. And in this example, we're discussing that there was a moment in time when it's all the rest. Anadi, it has been not told eternal. Anadi. Time being immemorial. So the jivas are not eternal. Oh, jivas are, their constitution is eternal. For this you will have to pay something to your Gurudev and high class of the Lord. <laughs> I will tell you, this mango is very tasteful. But how tasteful? Oh, I will have to give you that thing. And for this you will have to pay something. Go, Prema. Hari, Hari, Bo. How much is this? How much do you require? You have to be very valuable thing. I want your heart. Jai, Gurudev. that Upadeshamit is going on or Manashikrafat is going on now? In class? Yes, we are going to see it today. Eh? today but see. tomorrow what has been happening? Yes, today. Eh? Different yes, devotees today. giving class. Yes, today was Ramananda Sambhai spoken by Govinda no, Bhakar Prabhu. I want that Raya Ramananda I am giving. Uh, Don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> In class I will tell you what to, you should do, you should do. But now you should begin Upadeshamritam, Manashikha or Sikshastra or any another thing. By which they can know oh, what should we do. What is that process? Hmm? You can also tell them how to worship. If we give hope to Krishna, then it will not do that, oh, namo mahavadanyaya krishna prem pradayate krishnaya. Oh, this is not offering mantra. 
Pranam mantra. So we should know all these things. When you are doing arti, then um, Nishinga Dev Pranam mantra should not be done. At that time, what we should do? Radha Krishna or Mahaprabhu or Arti. And after that, in the end, we can do pranam by that. No. So everything exactly you should know. Because Swamiji has made a platform. On platform, now we should know all these things. Don't feel that I am not uh, talking with you and not taking care. Today we are going to have Nagar Sankirtan in Lahaina. Huh. Bigger, better, bigger place, more people and more books. He's very yeah. More books. I will take exact report of all this. What time is Nagar Sankirtan? 10.30. 10 10 all should go. All should go. Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaviti Govinda Dhamo Dharma Jai Shila Guru Dev. She likes sweets. <laughs> You're the sweetest sweet. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's this big red thing, man? It's just the red dot in the bag. Oh, come on, please. I want to take oh, I'll good. take this off. When Marco met with Ramananda Rai, first thing he told him, Varnashrama Taravata, Urushena Parapama, first thing Varnashram Dhamma. Marco rejected being external because he wanted to know what he should have acted. But Ramananda Rai, he mentioned this first of all because this is the platform. Without Varnashram Dharma, you cannot progress anywhere. Just like your body and your soul are two things. Your soul is more important than the body. But when you are conditioned, you cannot neglect this body, otherwise you cannot do bhakti and realize your soul. So in the same way, Varnashram Dharma is material. It is to do with this world. 
but until we are liberated, we cannot neglect it. And by following it gradually, uh, being following all the rules and regulations of Dharma, and Dharma, but being in association with liberated souls, then we can transcend. If a conditioned soul neglects Varnashram Dharma, Brahmachari Gyasta, Varnaprasta, and Sanyas, oh, then he will not be a human being. All they say is not a human being, and he will be lost. So we, we cannot go from the not being a human being to being a Paramahansa. We have to go through some stages in the middle. And those who reject those stages, they're ignorant of the process of purification and how we become Christian conscious. And so their teaching is very dangerous. Yeah. All right, good yeah. question. Yeah. We should start class. Now, so Vrindavan Velasimni, did you give class? After her class, or you can ask her questions, she will give better answers than me. No. She's more advanced, more qualified, and very, very dear to the Srila Prabhupada, Srila Gurudev. Mm -hmm. So now, oh, here you go. Prince Ravachin did say the first words in Sanskrit. <laughs> 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 Let's see if you can pronounce it properly. <laughs> Guru Goste Gostala Esu Sujane Bu Surgane Samante Sinam Ni Brajana Vayugadanda Shane Sadadam Bam Hitta Kuru Ratima Purva Matitam Aiswanta Bratas Tatuvi Abhijate Tatapada So the English translation that we have here is Oh my dear brother, my foolish mind, taking hold of your feet, I humbly pray to you with sweet words. Please give up all pride and quickly develop sublime and incessant rati. She rooted in, she dredged down, the residence of Rez, the Vaishnavas, the Brahmin, the Dikshaman, the holy names of the Supreme Lord, and the shelter of Kishore Kishore, she she read a Krishna, the eternally useful divine couple of Brahmish. So we begin with Guru. Guru is the backbone of Bhakti, as we've heard him so many times. And our relationship with Guru is the most important thing. And what is Rati? We have to develop Rati for Guru. Rati is deep, deep, deep attachment. Not material attachment, but spiritual attachment. And Srila Rupa Goswami has given us an exact definition, which I don't know by heart. But it's, it's attachment that cannot break. Cannot break. It's causeless, apratiheta, ahaituki. Unmotivated and uninterrupted, deep loving attachment, fully absorbed, completely absorbed in Guru. Like Gurudev was saying this morning, we must find bona fide Guru and we must give ourselves, our hearts, 100% to Guru. Now, there's one book by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur where devotees are asking him questions. Uma Didi in um, Mathura was giving me classes on this. And he gives some very, very powerful instructions on this. Not things that we don't already know, especially the disciples of Srila Prabhupada, but things that we need to go deeper in and always be reminded of. And for those that are new, then it might be new for you. He was asked, it's questions and answers. One devotee asked Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Tukla, what is the most dangerous opera? He said the most dangerous operat is Manusha Buddha, I think that's what he said. Thinking that spiritual master is an ordinary person. This is actually the most dangerous operat. And why? Because if we don't understand the Satguru, of course this is only for Satguru, this is not for Bogus Guru. This is for Satguru, and Maharaj has given us the definition of Satguru. Today we're going to talk about disciple. Not so much about guru, but disciple relationship with bona fide guru. Um, if we don't understand that the guru is actually a representative of Krishna, actually an eternal associate of Krishna, if we think he's ordinary, then we cannot be saved at all because we cannot actually surrender. He is the only one who can save us from bad association. And bad association will take us to hell. I think it's 100% to him. Well, whoever we're with, we become like them. We know this. this is even in the material world, birds of a feather flock together and they go to the same place. Mm. So if we associate with high class devotee, with Sakuru, then we will go to the local Hey, good. I got it on to Guru Dev. Yeah. Service to Guru Dev? Yeah. Huh? You'll do it? Well, that's, that's what my money is being used for. Whatever preaching stuff I do, that's what I want the locks me for, you know? No, we'll, we'll take care of the, the locks. Well, we just paid 12 grand and we have to pay Jai Maharaj. 
Well, well, that was a, that was uh, that was a deal for you guys. <laughs> and we talked from twenty five down to twelve. Yeah, you know, I mean, since we already have. Uh, I mean, you don't have to have the the you know me improving those new recipes. But when I do a batch here and you taste how these are, and you do a do a taste, that's what we can do. I'll I'll do a batch of those, those three formulas, and we'll do a taste test and see if I don't get ten to one on my product. It's the same ingredients. Yeah. Because we can't if we do the label. Well, I mean, I can I can as I said, there's there are different proportions. That there's no chance. Okay, well, can you send that bill to the uh, Aryan Road San Diego address? Hari Hari Raji Raji Yay Yay Thank <laughs> you. 
Allez, bon. नमो महावतन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायक कृष्णाय कृष्ण चरितन्न नम गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदारे कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तर भक्ताय भक्तिया विहीनाय पराध मध्ये नमस्ते प्रणाम and also the same under the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru, Nitya Lila Pravishtam Vishnu Bhashi Sundhakti Shiksha Vedan Swami Maharaj. Oh, let us come with me and we should be with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he is going from Puri to South India to search his brother. But really this was Huh? Pretext. He wanted to make whole South India and whole world dev pure devotee. That they should all chant and remember Krishna and be happy for it. Without chanting, anyone cannot be happy in this world. They should know. Huh? They should know it. He told to Anyone who come to him, oh, jare dekho, tare kaho, Krishna, upadesh, amar agyay guru haiya taro desh. Oh, I am telling you. And you should tell anyone who meets you that you should chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. And you, and he will tell to others, and he will tell others, oh, by my order, this is order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you should preach this to others. And in this way, very soon in whole world, this message went that chant Hari name and be happy. As I have come here, I want you to tell you that be happy. Be merciful to me and be happy yourself. And chant, oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Very easy process to be happy. Very easy process. But you should follow all. Those who are not still following, oh, this, this, this will follow. So, very soon, whole southern India oh, began to chant. All became Vaishnava. And thus, he went to to the river, sacred river, Godavari. And he saw, oh, here, Jamuna. He saw beautiful forest there. Oh, very beautiful forest. Vrindavan. He saw some, what, rock shot, that is, mountains. Oh, you are very dark woman. Thus he was the object in Krishna. Love and affection. He forget everything. Only dancing so much. So much dancing. Sometimes rolling, rolling down on the earth. Oh, my beloved Krishna, where is God? Where is God? Sometimes laughing. Sometimes so many. Oh. Oh. 
of singing what? Krishna, 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 hey. Krishna, 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 Krishna. Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rakham. Krishna, 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 Krishna. And thus he went. He went to the Godauri River. He took bath and he went to other side. It was now morning. He took bath on the sacred river Godavari. And then he came in a very lonely place there nearby, Barding Ghat. And he was in France. In the meantime, a governor of that land, that area, Raya Ramananda, he came with so many associates, oh, by the Brahmins, reciting Ved Mantra. And with drum, that king is like coming. Oh, about Thousands of Brahmins reciting base months. And he came, he took off, but he saw that a nearby, a very brilliant, but a fulgence, a bal sannyasi, young sannyasi is there, and he is sitting with Ram. He was so much attracted. He took bath and after that he left his all soldiers and all attendants and everyone and he come alone there where he was sitting. And he did prana. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu looked after him and told oh, Are you Ramananda? Are you Ramananda? He told me, yes, the wretched person, very wretched. Or say, he told that when I was in Jagannath Puri, very learned person, Sarvam Bhattacharya, he was very kind to me and he told that if you are going to South India, you must meet Raya Ramana. Though his governor, like boy for a representative of king in that area, but he so learned and he so high class of devotee. First I put that to him. I used to joke with him, oh you are Vaishnava. Vaishnava are nothing. They follow blindly. But now I am realizing that she was a high class of Vaishnava. And I pray, pray you that if you are going that side, you must, must return. And you will see that how high class of devotee is he. And then we worship to him. So he is telling that Sadhvam Bhattacharya was very much uh, was kind to me, merciful to me. And he has told that that is why for you I have come to associate with you. There is no reason to come. I want that. I should hear Harikatha from you. He told that if you have come here. I know that Osar Bhattacharya is my well wisher He has sent you, you are like Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is kind to me that he sent you to me. So not only one day, two days. I want that you should stay here for six, seven days. And be merciful to me and sprinkle your mercy. Each other or glorifying, or oh, this is the etiquette of Vaishnava. 
now we days we have forgotten these days you guys and that is why you are going down we should try to honor each other all devotees if you are devotee but those who are not pure devotees what they will do they or oh, this problem that problem my husband has left me my wife has left me oh should i marry not marry what to do oh very big problem but i begin i i unsuccessful by all eh into bhavas my business is now so what should i do or one thing is so this is not best no etiquette best no has no problem at all always happy <coughs> they can make happy happy <laughs> i remember the time of swami ji he made lakhs and lakhs, <coughs> thousands of happy he changed them and they can pure devotee really happy so <coughs> each other bash no educate for them then mahaprabhu that a brahmin came and he invited mahaprabhu that i want to invite you and you should take prasadam in my house he was devi brahman and vaishnavo so mahaprabhu went there he took prasad and then he requested raya manand that i am anywhere here and you must meet me in evening so he was waiting and raya manand also waiting he tend his cloth dress royal dress and he took very simple very simple one dhoti cloth one and with one associate he came no chhatra umbrella like royal umbrella no palki palanti nothing no angarakshak no body god nothing he came down. and he came and he do sashtam pranam to mahaprabhu and they sat together whole night for so many days their krishna kha was a regular oh from evening no sleep nothing no interruption what ma prabhu ask him i know that you are a very high class class of no devotee devotee also you are learned you know all the epics vishesh your master of shri madhavatam you know all shastra so i will ask you some questions and you should reply and give examples of shastra party party i will not recognize i will not give any importance if you are not giving any evidence of scripture please should always know this thing that what is praman evident so many persons are telling so many things but it is not evident. evidence is by upanishad and the words of any high class of people who has no bhram pramad karna paato they are rich or defects these words can be taken also the shastra who which are uh, anuga anuga according to ways like chaitanya chaitanya is the books of shar goswami for four acharyas of different vishnu all are like evidence but most evidence 
very pure evidence, a strong evidence is Shri So you should give the evidence of Ved, Upanishad, Bhagavad. Then I will accept that. So he told, first his question was, what is Shadha and what is Shadha? First thing. Before this, prior to this, I want to say you, in morning class, I told that from the glance of Narayan, Karnatesha, all Jeevas has come. They are not uh, uh, created. Jeev cannot be created. They are eternal. But coming from the light, the sight of service. But what is that? You should know. What is that light? Right. That is semblance of chit sakti. Understand? Semblance? What? Of chit sakti. Not chit sakti too. But not even achit sakti. But semblance. Semblance of chit sakti. Plus, tatast mood. You know? Tatast. Plus, vivhinans tattva. Plus, maya shakti. Four things mixed. And this is called sambhu linga. And from then, all jiva come. That is Sadarshiva, a semblance of Vishnu Tattva, that is Sadarshiva. And Tattastha Bhamana Vivinansa, something, but not false Vivinansa. And Maya, oh, accepting some Maya there. If Maya is not there, oh, Karnadisai Vishnu will not be there. No creation at all. So all this mixing becomes Sambhu Tattva or uh, Linga. And, and by this, oh, creation comes. Of oh, what? Of oh, this body. Gross or material body. And Secondly, oh, sukshma sari or shuttle body. Solely not even created, but these two are created. And thus we should know all these things that jivas are not created, but they have eternal something in, pot in potency. इसके अतिरिक्त और नहीं इसकी व्याख्या की जा सकती। Yes, we will have to realize it by chanting Hari name, and when your name will be transcendental name, oh you will realize. But by mental exercise you can never. So chant. And first you will realize all these things, Krishna Tattva, Maya Tattva, Bhakti Tattva, Jiva Tattva, everything. And after that some time, you will have to forget all these things and to know that Krishna is our bosom friend, he is our my son and he is my most dear friend. Swamiji came to tell you all that Krishna was, Krishna is Supreme Personality of Godhead. Now time has come that I have come. He told me to tell you all that, oh, now you should know that you should forget that Krishna was not so no, <laughs> supreme personality, but he is also bosom friend and he is beloved, he is son, he is everything. Thus our bhakti should increase. 
now we should come to our subject. Can you read and explain first? Uh, yes. And Swamiji is explaining. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered Ramananda Rai to recite a verse explaining what Swamiji, your Buddha, has explained. So I am not <coughs> different line from Swami. I am following this. Someone, some cell like this is somewhat different life. But they are in different life. Oh, I am following. They should follow. They don't follow. Yeah. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered Ramananda Rai to recite a verse from the scriptures concerning sadhya, the ultimate goal of life. First he told Mark. What is Shadhya? Not Shadhya. After that. Ramananda replied that if one executes the prescribed duties of his social position, he awakens his original Krishna consciousness. Ramananda Rai quoted a verse. Vanashramacharabhata purushena parapuman vishnu aradite panta nandyattato shakaranam the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Vishnu, is worshipped by the proper execution of the prescribed duties in the system of Varna and Ashram. There is no other way to satisfy the Supreme Personality of Godhead. One must be situated in the institution of four Varnas and Ashrams. So, Sriman Mahaprabhu asked Ramananda Rai, what is the sadhana, what is the goal? At first, Sriman Mahaprabhu not asked him, what is sadhana? At first, he asked, you have to fix the goal. And Ramananda Rai replied that, Varnasrama Acharvata Paras Purusena Parapuman That means that you have to be in Varnasram Dharma. So there are four Varna and four Ashram. Brahmin, Kshatriya, Vaisa and Sudra. These four Varna and four Ashramas. Brahmacharya, Garhastha, Banprastha and Sannas. You have to be in any varna or any ashram and you have to maintain varna ashram dharma by this way you can make please to Vishnu and there is no other mean so hearing this Srimad Mahaprabhu told it is external why? why Mahaprabhu told it is external? why not Mahaprabhu accept it as a sadha tattva as a goal because here there is no explanation about the soul. The Varnasram Dharma, Varnasram Dharma and Ashram, this is for only to maintain our social system. Just like in Srimad Bhagavatam, it mentions Havai Pungsam Paro Dharma Jato Bhakti Radhaf Chaje Ahai Tukka Bhavai Taja Bhakti Purusattame Ar Jyatma Sam Prasidati. Havai Pungsam Paro Dharma, this is the best religion for Souls, what? Mahaitukka Bhavaita, we have to be one pointed devotion 
and uninterrupted devotion for Vishnu, then by this, soul or super soul will be pleased. But here in this evidence, there is no proof that soul will be pleased and super soul will be pleased. So it is like a Karvamisa Bhakti, not Sarup Siddha Bhakti. So Sivan Mahaprabhu told it external, it is not pure bhakti, not pure goal. So Mahaprabhu reject this. So now Ravana Prabhu is going ahead. Now we shall hear from Srila Guru Dev. Oh, you know that my Guru Dev my Sikha Guru, the Bhakti Vedanta, Vedanta Swami Maharaj. He wanted to establish Daiva Varnashankar. What is that? If you are not following Daiva Varnasham process, oh, all are animal. Not only animal. Gokharaha. Gokhar means? Or oh, donkey. Very ignorant. Like animal. Like animals, you see dogs and beaches, hog pigs and their wives. One day accepting one and next day giving up and divorcing and now again new and again and again in life. Oh, your name should be in Greenish Book. Greenish Book, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I have record. <laughs> so like animals, animals can do. Greenish Book. So we should be first very chest with wife and husband. Don't change. This is Varnasham. And you should in this Varnasham dharma. Oh, Vishnu is worshipped. What is our object? Process is this. Worship of Vishnu. But what is the aim of this? Oh, we can be happy in this one. Vishnu will give boon that you should be happy. And more than this, oh salvation. Free from attachment and to mix with Vishnu. This is. So this is like a cause. Not boon. We should not try to meet in Krishna to mix me with the Vishnu or Krishna. And we should not try to do anything for being happy in this world temporarily. In this country, I don't know a kind of disease, itching disease. You know that disease? Like this? Yes? yes? Like eczema. No? In this country, eczema? Yes. In eczema, we do like this. And it seems that all very pleasant. But it is a rogue. Disease. After some time, oh, very painful. So this world is like this. Worldly life is like each, each is a disease. So by this, worshipping Vishnu, oh, we can give up and be happy for some time. But again it will come. So it is external. There is no service of Atma. Only external for body. So Mahaprabhu told, but Swamiji, Shila, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati, they have tried that we should follow the Why? By this, following, 
we will be at, at least human being, otherwise animal. So first we should be like human. And then it is a platform for that bhakti. So first make platform. Then hear Harikatha. And then gradually you should go up. So Varnashrami is somewhat help, favorable, but not fully. If you do, oh, you will be in worldly things. So he is telling, oh, you should go further. You have bhajya, any doubt? Any doubt? Any doubt? Okay. So our aim is not to be, uh, to follow Varnashram Dharma. He told his devotee to make it in Canada, one place, in Saranagati. He made like this. Also in Gita Nagari. Also so many places. Eh? New Vrindavan. Also in Mayapur, New Mayapur. He wanted to establish this. But oh, only for platform. Now, where are they? All gone. All are like barren lands, weeping, nothing. So it will not help so much. So what further he is telling? Age Kohar. The Lord replied, This is external. You had better tell me of some other means. Ramananda replied, Karmarpana, to offer the results of one's activities to Krishna is the essence of all perfection. In this regard, he quoted a verse from Bhagavad Gita. Oh, just to explain something of this. Part Some what Mahaprabhu to ask and what he replies, you can understand. No. Srimad Mahaprabhu rejected Rai Ramananda's proposal that Varnashram Dharma is the perfection, although it's a platform, and requested him to go further. So Rai Ramananda quoted Bhagavad Gita that all that you do, all that you give away, all that you offer in sacrifice should be done for, for me on my account. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also rejected this proposal considering that it was external. External because again the motive is for our own satisfaction. Whatever activities I do in this world, there's a karmic reaction. Even if it's a pious ac action, and I get a pious reaction, I still have to suffer in this world. If I give somebody a lot of money, then in my next life I'll be rich. But I still have to take birth in a womb. I still have to get old age, disease, and death. So the motive is for my own personal sense gratification. Then Mahaprabhu rejected this, not rejected it as a actual uh, position, but he rejected it as the perfection. He told him to go further, and Rai Ramananda said, the conclusion of the Bhagavad Gita, Sarvada mam parichaja mame kam sharanam braja aham tam sarvapape vya moksha yishami masuchaha Give up all varieties of so-called religious activities and surrender everything to me. In return, I'll free you from all fear, masuchaha. I'll free you from all fear and all sinful reactions. 
Again, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu rejected this, not as a position, because it's better than animal life. It's better than having nothing to do with Krishna. So why did Lord Chaitanya reject it? Again, it's external, because it's a relation to the body. I want Krishna to free me from fear. I have a personal motivation, not to please Krishna, but I want Krishna's protection for my body, for my mental and intellectual comfort. Also, this is a business. If I do something for Krishna, then he'll do something for me. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu rejected it. Real devotion means there's no cause, no material cause, and no material interruption. Real devotion means you may trample me down or make me brokenhearted by not appearing before me. Whatever you do, you're my worshipful Lord unconditionally. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu rejected this proposal, although it's Krishna's own words, although it's the Bhagavad Gita, because there's some personal motivation. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu requested Rai Ramananda to continue because the perfection is selfless service. Thank you. Srimad Bhagavatam. There are so many examples given for this. Srimad Bhagavatam, it has been told that there was a king in the world, Arisha. He was in Parnashamta. He was king and chattu, very powerful. And he used to worship Vishnu. He was so much true, true speaking. He never, never he accepted any like thing. Never. And he was very generous to all things. When the Vishwamitra, a high class of devotees, surrendered devotees, he came in his dream and he told that you are very generous. And two speakers, a very good king, was a big fish. I know that if I will ask anything, you must give. So I want something. And in this way he told that what you want, he told that I want your whole thing. Then he told the yes, I'm giving. After that dream was stopped, he came in. He forget, he forgot. And in the morning, or Sam Vishwamitra came to him. Do you remember something? I don't remember anything. Oh, you remember last dream, last night? Oh, something. What was that? That you asked for my kingdom, I gave. Oh, you should give me? Yes. I'm giving word that. I'm talking about that I am giving you. This now kingdom is yours. Then he told that, you know, that uh, you should give some dakshina. Dakshina means? Eh? Donation for this. In India, if you will donate anything, or even some coin you will have to give. So you should give me, pay me. He told, he called the treasurer and told that, oh, you should give him 10,000 of gold and wine. Vishwamitra began to smile and told that, oh, you are liar. Liar? You gave me all kingdom, you know, and now your treasur treasury is mine, everything is mine. So how you are telling that? Oh, treasurer, we pay him. Now it is mine. Oh, yes. 
that he wanted to take loan from anyone in his kingdom. He told that all are mine. You cannot, cannot take any loan from anyone in my kingdom. Then he wanted to sell himself. He told that in my kingdom you cannot sell you. Then he became, what to do? I have done wrong. What should I do? Then he told that, what should I do? Please give me some suggestion. He told that, oh, 